it's uh, it's the biggest problem we have like we can say that dictatorships in middle east are our enemies yeah. uh, we can say that you know um, saddam erdogan ataturk um, the mullahs in iran yeah. you know that they are our enemies that the states are enemies uh, some people even talk about the peoples i don't like to do that but yeah. you know we can talk about those things but in my opinion our biggest enemies is ourselves yeah if we were united, nobody would be able to use us. No, exactly. Um, I don't like Atatürk, no. you know, obviously. But one thing that he had that was an uh, amazing um, uh, per thing within uh, his leadership was that he united the Turkish people. Exactly. And that's something that the Kurds need, someone who can unite the Kurdish people. And you don't need to do what Atatürk did with no, 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 <laughs> killing it's... people and stuff. But, but you know what I mean. Uniting uh, the Kurds... Uh, no matter which party you belong, you are a Kurd. Yeah. We don't have this, we, we, we haven't had this politician that we can call a real national hero yet. No. The, the closest thing we could come uh, is um, Qazi Muhammad. Yeah. Um, but he was in power too short, short time to, with all respect, to, to see uh, everything that he could have done and, and you know he was in, t in power for like two years or something exactly it's like uh, uh, who knows who he would have become and it's controversial to say because yeah. he's uh, considered a national hero exactly but who knows who he would be if he would live 20 years more you know yeah. um, but um, so we haven't had this Nelson Mandela type who have uh, fought struggled uh, be uh, become imprisoned um, uh, and then become free to become our leader for until he dies. We haven't had this kind of uh, guy yeah. that we can call uh, for real our national hero.